Today we're going to be looking at the Kenner Classics Real Ghostbusters Ecto-1. Now, as you saw in that opening video, I picked this up from my local toy shop, and as soon as I saw it, I got a hit of nostalgia, which is exactly what Hasbro are going for. They have reproduced the original Kenner Ecto-1 from the real Ghostbusters cartoon that I watched, and I'm sure you watched, and so many other people. And I had this toy as a kid. It was one of my favourite toys. I loved it, and I, w I was one of those strange kids that like to keep everything in its box when I play with it. So. I actually kept the boxes as a child so I know without a doubt that this is a reproduction of that original box there is no doubt in my mind there are some changes here and there but not massive ones they're just little changes and what I'll do now I'll put a picture up of the original box and a picture up of this box and you'll see just how alike they actually are but is the car inside the same is it the exact same toy that I used to play with as a child looking at the back I would say it is. It looks more or less exactly the same as the car that I had as a child and I don't see why it wouldn't be that way because that is exactly what Hasbro are going for. They recreated something from our childhood to um, collect for us collectors or to buy for your own kids to play with. I am more or less certain that this is the exact same vehicle that we had as a child but what we're going to do now is bring that camera closer and we're going to open it up and check it out. Okay so let's crack this thing open. I know I've said this already, but it is nice to see this original artwork, this original representation of the original box that Kenner produced back in the 80s. This was a big part of my childhood. Every time I played with the Ecto-1, I put it back in its box. So I had this box for the longest time and the Ghostbusters went back in the box. And I remember as years went by, the box got so tatty, but I still remember this artwork so well and it's just so nice to have this box back again. In fact, when I take the car out of the box, I'm still going to display it on top of the box. The box will be on display as well because it serves just as much nostalgia to me as the actual car does. Okay, so let's um, crack this open. Okay, let's see what we've got first. Uh, first of all, we've got the instruction manual and some stickers which are a little bit creased. I think they'll be okay. And then it looks like we've got Looks like it's the actual chair what goes on top of the car, if you remember. You used to strap in um, Peter Venkman or one of the other Ghostbusters and they used to have these um, cannon things on the side of the chair. And here it is. It's already iconic, even wrapped in this paper. It's so exciting to see. So let's rip it open. Yeah, there is, there's no doubt in that that is more or less the same car that I had as a child. It is so good to see this car again. Um, I did actually own the original up until about maybe, I don't know, maybe eight years ago when I sold it. So I've still got it fresh in my mind what the original looked like. I think there are a few changes to this, but nothing that is really noticeable. I think the... Um, the dashboard area inside is a little bit different. I think on the original one it had a slightly different paint job. Also, I think this has a nice shiny coat of paint, white paint on top. I'm pretty sure the original one was not as shiny. Or maybe that was just my vehicle because it had um, been played with throughout the years and it had lost its shininess maybe. I know a lot of the Ecto ones now that you can pick up second hand, the original Ecto ones the, the plastic seems stained like it's a yellow stain, like some plastic does turn like that over time. Uh, if you look at any Super Nintendo or NES, you'll be hard pressed to find one that is in good condition. What I mean by that is that, has, that it hasn't turned yellow. And that is exactly what most of the actual ones out there did. They turned a yellowish colour. This looks like it's got a, like a shiny matte paint on top of it. Um, I may be wrong about that, but I don't think the other one did. I think it was just the actual base plastic that it was produced out of. Like I said, I may be wrong, I'm not 100% sure about that, but it does seem a lot more shinier than the original car. But it is the same car, I can tell just by looking at it, and this may sound daft just by holding it in my hands. I've got all the memories up there of playing with this as a kid and knowing exactly how the car feels. I know that sounds ridiculous, but... That, that is how I remember things. I remember how things feel. If I see a picture of something online of an old toy that I used to play with, I can still feel the textures in my mind. 
You know what, before we go any further with the review of the car, I think I'm going to actually add the stickers. Okay, so here are the stickers. We've got three of the uh, golf symbol. We've got two Ecto-1 registration plates and we've got the blue window for the for the back of the Ecto-1. So let's put them on now. You know, even though it was so long ago, I still have very vague memories of me sticking on these stickers myself. I remember my dad insisting that he stick them on, but I insisted that I must be the one to do it. And I did, and you know, I would end up sticking them slightly to the left, slightly to the right. Maybe a little bit too far up, a bit too far down. They never were quite right, but it didn't matter because I'd done it. This was my toy. Um, hopefully, we'll do a little bit better today with it. So we are. That is more or less exactly how I remember it now. We need to put the chair on yet. But yeah, that is exactly how I remember it. I must admit, that was quite nerve-wracking putting them stickers on because there were a few close calls there. Okay, so let's unwrap the chair. Oh, I almost forgot, you get the um, you get the orange ghost as well. Um, I think the original one wasn't as translucent as this one. This one is quite see-through. I don't know if you can make that out on the camera, but it is quite translucent. Uh, the original one, I don't think it was. I think it was a solid plastic. Um, but as far as I can tell, that is exactly the same ghost out the original set. And in a minute, we'll demonstrate the ghost trap at the back and how the ghost trap captures the ghosts. There's one detail I remember about this ghost trap is that when you pulled it out and then you pushed the car forward, the ghost trap went back in, but it made a clicking noise. And I'm just curious to see whether it actually makes that clicking noise still. And here we have the chair that goes on top. And I must admit, before they released this car, I was looking to buy myself another second-hand Ecto-1 from the 80s, from the original cartoon. Uh, buying a second and one off eBay or something, but you won't believe how many of them didn't come with this chair. It is really hard to find an XL1 with this chair attached uh, because I, I suppose, like everything, the, the car gets played with and then the chair gets lost, never to be seen again. So, I don't know, I think this now is a better way to buy your retro toys. And there we have it on top with the, uh, the guns, and you sit your little Ghostbuster in here and um, you know, zap some ghosts. And before we have a look at the trap in the back, let's have a look at these doors. The original Ecto-1 doors opened, and so do these. There we go. And like I said before, if you were to try and buy an original Ecto-1 off eBay, you'd be hard-pressed to find one with the doors attached. And if you were to find one with everything included, you're going to be paying a lot of money for it because it is a collectible. Let's get to the part I was looking forward to the most, and that is the ghost trap. Oh, I almost forgot, you have to, um, I almost forgot, you have to manoeuvre this exhaust pipe at the bottom. You have to kind of flip it that way, and now the trap should be released to be pulled out. I think this bit here was actually different. I think the mechanism has been covered up. I remember on the original, the mechanism was all exposed. I think they've actually covered it up here, which is probably a good idea. So here we go. Let's have a look at the ghost trap. And there we go, that comes out quite easy. First thing I notice about this is the string. The original string on the X01 from the 80s was black. Uh, this one is white and it's a lot thicker as well. The black string in the 80s was really thin. And I remember I always had this fear that I was going to pull it out and snap it. Uh, that never happened, but I always had that fear. This one feels more robust, like you'd have to pull it very hard to snap it. I think the original one came out a little bit longer as well. I think it came out further. Um, this is, I don't know whether this is probably due to uh, health and safety. The actual trap itself looks to me like it is the exact same as it was on the original. So here's a moment we've all been waiting for, or at least I've been waiting for. We're going to catch a ghost, and we're going to see whether this Ecto-1 makes the same clicking noise as it did on the original Ecto-1. That is just something that I remember so well about the original car. Okay, so we've got the ghost trapped, and before we pull it into the car, we're going to have to remember to flick that switch, the exhaust pipe, on the bottom of the X01, flip it back, and now it should pull it in. We're going to have to back the car up so we've got enough rolls, and here we go, the moment of truth. Listen for that clicking noise. It won't work on the desk. I'm going to have to take it down to the carpet. Okay, so we've got the ghost trapped, we've got the car ready to go. Here's a moment of truth. We're going to have to back it up because we've not got enough road. Roads? Well, we're going, we don't need roads. And here we go. Oh, that was so satisfying. That's exactly as I remember it, that clicking noise. 
brilliant. Okay, so yeah, that was really satisfying actually. I can't explain how satisfying that was just to hear that clicking noise. It's something I remember so fondly from my childhood when playing with this toy and it's still got the same mechanism, it's still got the same clicking noise, which I'm not sure whether it was unavoidable to include that or whether they included it on purpose, I'm not sure, but I, I really do appreciate it. And as you can see, in the back, the ghost is trapped. Yeah, so like I said before, when I display this, I'm gonna actually display it on top of the box because the box serves just as much nostalgia for me as the actual car does. And I really could not be more happy with it. I really am made up, I'm over the moon with it. It's really, really nice. I will own up to something before I finish this video. When these companies started to reproduce toys from the 80s from my childhood, I thought it was cool. I liked looking at it online, I thought it was awesome. But I always said to myself, I'm not going to buy these because this isn't the original product from the 80s. It's not the one I played with. But then I thought to myself, even if I did buy myself an original Ecto-1 off eBay with all the parts included, it would have probably cost me over £100. And it still wouldn't have been the toy that I played with as a child. It would have been someone else's. So I was finally convinced to go for this replica of the original toy. I'm actually thinking about getting a party wagon from the Ninja Turtles because I like this so much. I would love to see the party wagon next to it. And I hope and pray that Asbro release the Ecto-2, the helicopter that they used in the Ghostbusters cartoon. Because I had that as a child and I play with it all the time. And that is another, another nostalgic hit for me. Something I think about on a regular basis. And I can still, like I said with this, I know it sounds weird. I can still feel it in my hand. I can, I can feel how it felt. I can feel the textures of it, just thinking of it. So to have it again in my collection would be amazing. So as well, if you're listening, get to that. So if you liked today's video, you might want to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. And a like and a comment would also go a long way for the channel as well. Without further ado, let's bring that camera a little bit closer and get a few shots of this baby.